the sun is out, blue sky, beautiful out, the day for spring fashion, woohoo! Hi, I'm Jody. so you have four fabulous trends, would you mind sharing? Yeah, we are showing four trends today and one of those trends we're highlighting today are kind of that sporty look with the dresses. So right now you're seeing a lot of dresses paired with a cute little sneaker and some edgy details like leather. So right now I have Natasha. Natasha, come over here. So Natasha's got this really sweet feminine A-line dress on. We are covering that trend um, for stripes. Stripes are huge this year. The nautical stripe, pinstripe, any type of stripe, it's so big. So I wanted to kind of kill two birds with one stone by showing it as a sporty look with some cute sneakers. Wow. Aren't those adorable? And then um, we kind of gave it some edge with the leather jacket, this perforated detailing keeps it a little more funky and then some sweet little bobble earrings, which again is like the biggest look in accessories right now. I so love it. I it's love super it. super fun because it's girly, but she's comfortable and that's just, that's how you should feel every day. You should look good, but feel great at the same time. She like, she got pockets too? Yeah, she has pockets. Anything with pockets. Everybody knows me. I'm obsessed with pockets. So if a dress has pockets, I'm putting it on or I'm putting it on my model. I love this um, hairstyle too. Just like a simple top knot. Like you don't always have to go all out when you're wearing a dress. My biggest question I get from customers are, I have nowhere to wear a dress. I'm like, a dress doesn't have to be dressy. It can be fun, it can be casual. Wear it going for coffee with your girlfriends, wear it for lunch, wear it during the day. It doesn't have to be a special occasion. Another big trend in fashion for spring, summer is that kind of vintage Hawaiian print. So I have Stephanie here, she's coming up. We paired her in this beautiful, like flowy halter Hawaiian print dress. What I love about this print, it's, it's not that tacky Hawaiian print that everybody wears to a party or like some cheesy backyard like barbecue. This is really elegant, really pretty. She could wear this to a beach wedding. Um, she could pair this with some wedges to dress it down. Right now we have it dressed up a little. So, I mean, the color palette is soft. It's neutral, it will go with a lot and it's just a really pretty dress. I love it. It's just a, a fresh take on that print, super modern. And yeah, it, just kind it of has comes such down. nice movement. Is that the new look? It's going down. Yeah. Okay. Um, another big look this year are uneven hemlines. So like handkerchief hems, high-low hems, waterfall, like cascading hems. That's I love great. the shoes too. They're patent block heel. Block heel is a big look this year. So, ladies, you can walk rest easy knowing you can walk in your shoes. And you're not gonna like get stuck in the grass in these things. So perfect for a summer wedding. Yeah, I, I have a hard time with pointy shoes. <laughs> a lot of people do. And the blocks would be like a little safer. Yes, definitely safer. And uh, like I said, you won't sink in the grass. So a lot of my clients are like, how do I wear pretty shoes to a backyard wedding? Get a block heel that will, or a block heel or a wedge, and that will keep your look elegant and pretty, but you know, you won't fall over. <laughs> It's nice, it has nice movement, but it's not too much fabric. So it's nice and light to wear and sh you know, she'll be comfortable all day. Again, going for that elegant fashion that's comfortable, wearable all day, that's so important. I hear that you have another outfit. Yes, I do. So I, anyone who knows me knows I love red and so I couldn't not do this little fashion statement without showing my must have red dress. And Natasha is wearing that for us today. So Natasha, here she comes. Wow. Yeah, it's just so fun. It's just a cotton little off the shoulder dress. Off the shoulder dresses, tops, anything. Um, one of the biggest trends again this year. Um, it came out last fall. Well, it was kind of peeking through last fall, but this year it's quite prominent, carrying through to next season. So this is fun and we kept it sporty. Again, just with the classic little white sneaker. But this time we added that stripe trend in the form of an accessory. So we did that with this great little clutch. Like how fun is that? So cute, right? You got the earrings. And the earrings the tassels. The so we've got a little bobble and tassel there. So again, anything tassels, anything bobbles, I'm all about it. <laughs> so, and it's all black and white and red. It's just really fun. Um, and she could easily dress this dress up with a simple black strappy sandal if she had to go out at night but she could wear it this way during the day. So she's not overdressed. She still feels casual and she feels comfortable. This particular shade of red blocks really well with other 
um, shades in the same palette. So don't be scared to block it with like other blues or yellows. Just try to find those pieces that tie them together. So if you, for instance, we tied the earrings, the sneakers, and the purse together because they're all the same colors, you can pretty much add any color doing it that way. So if you have earrings in a different color, try to pull in that color somewhere else with a clutch, with your footwear, with a scarf, anything like that. So you and I earlier, we were talking about pantsuits, like rompers, jumpsuits, that kind of thing. So I have one to show you. Do you want to see it? Sure. Okay, so Stephanie, I put her in this really beautiful blush um, jumpsuit. Again, it's from Le Chateau, and it has this matching cape. So this is our more formal look, but a different take on a formal look. Because most people, when they think formal, they think they have to wear a dress, they have to wear a gown. This is definitely something she could wear to a wedding. This could be a mom of the bride, mom of the groom look, or it just could be if you're a wedding guest, you could wear this. But the thing is, this is just not for a wedding. You could wear this. Um, the coat comes off. You want to see it? It's yes, really yes. pretty. <laughs> yeah, like look at this little detail on the sleeve. Like they have really outdone themselves this year with these pieces. So it's hard to tell if it's pants. Yeah, you can't uh, even short, really tell. Uh, a dress and yeah, and then the jacket. Not really a jacket, but yeah, the cape jacket. Cape jackets are like my favorite thing ever. For there, I have a few, and again, this has pockets. It has the nice inverted pleating, so the pant drapes really nicely. It's hard to find a nice fitting jumpsuit, but this year, this is like my must-have pick for jumpsuits. And again, we kept like the same footwear and the same. Um, jewelry we just switched out the clutch so we wanted to add a bit of a print with just something like this just a nice soft black and white floral so you're keeping that floral trend there too but we've incorporated it with the clutch so that's what I wanted to show you with the last two outfits you can incorporate those printed trends by using an accessory with that print instead of a full outfit in that print oh well done really Thank you. well done I hope I'm, you like them yeah I'm <laughs> I'm quite impressed. I love this outfit because it's so elegant and classy. It's something I'd feel comfortable wearing to work, a work event, a wedding, anywhere. But I actually feel like a very powerful woman wearing this. And I think it might be something I have to purchase after this. <laughs> I can't choose between which dress I like more. This one, it's red, off the shoulder. I think red's my color. The other one was super versatile. It was edgy, kind of nautical. You could dress it up and down. So I definitely feel like I need both of these dresses. I would say my biggest piece of advice for women who are shopping for dresses is make sure you go with someone who has kind of a similar vibe to you. If you're going with someone with, like, who doesn't like black or bright colors that always wears black, She's gonna hate every colorful dress you try on, which, and that could be something that looks amazing on you. Go with somebody you trust, or you can hire a personal stylist. It's like, there's lots of them out there, not just me. And um, I would say just own it. Like, don't be scared to stand out. So many of my clients are like, oh, like we don't, we, we, we don't wear that to work. I'm like, just stand out. Don't be afraid of it. If, you know, people are noticing you and it's a good thing, that's not a bad thing. And just own it, for sure. There you have it. Spring dresses, own it. I'm Emily Roback.